Hello everyone. I'm gonna read a book today for me and Emily. Here I am. So I got oops. And I'm gonna read a Christmas story. For these two, if I can get everything situated. Okay, <laughs> there they are. All right, this is the book I'm going to read. It's called The Sparkle Box. the sparkle box. And I'm gonna read it to them. So, here we go. This is sparkle box. Written by Jill Hardy and um, illustrated by Christian Kornacki. There's what? Here's what this page looks like, if you can see. Snowflakes swirled through the air as Sam and his mom stopped to look in the store, toy store window. With Christmas only a few weeks away, Sam needed to make his Christmas list. He tugged on his mom's sleeve and pointed to the train. He loved the shiny red engine. And here's for you. Later, as Sam and his mom curled up on the couch to read a Christmas book, something sparkled on the mantle. Caught his eye. Mom, is that a present for me? He asked. Sam's mom tousled his hair. It's a special gift called a sparkle box. We will open it together later, but we need to fill it Sam was excited, but it was hard to wait. Here's the view for you guys. Can you see if you can 
Driving home from school the next day, Sam's mom stopped at a building he had never been to before. She asked him to help her carry in some food and blankets. Sam peeked into the bag he was carrying and noticed a box of macaroni and cheese, his favorite. What were we? What were we? Doing with this stuff, Ma? She smiled and said, We're giving it to people who don't have enough food to eat or blankets to keep warm. But inside the building, Sam didn't see anyone who looked cold or hungry. Just a nice lady with a big smile who thanked them. Here's your drink. And here's your guys' eat. Isn't this a fun story so far? Okay. On the way home, they drove by the park. It was was dusk, and the pretty Christmas lights had just come on as they stopped at traffic light. Sam noticed someone on a bench, curled up and sleeping. His mother noticed too. That someone who may get one of our blankets, she said softly. He doesn't have anywhere to live. Sam felt bad. It wouldn't be sad not to have it would be sad not to have a home to live in. Sam hung his coat. It was good to be home as he sat at the kitchen table to have a snack. He noticed a sparkle box gleaming, gleaming on the mantel. Mom, did you put anything in the sparkle box yet? He asked shyly. Well, actually, I did put something in there today, she answered. But it's still not ready to be opened. We need to add a couple more things in it. Sam wondered what was inside. Like this story so far, girls? The days flew by, and soon it was time for one of Sam's favorite events, the Christmas party at his dad's office. There was always lots of delicious food and presents for every child at the party. Sam's dad thanked everyone for coming. He talked about how blessed they were when, they, when many people in the world struggle for something as simple as clean water to drink. He said a village of Africans, a village in Africa, would receive a special gift this year thanks to m money donated by employees and their families. The gift was a well that would, was a well that would provide clean water for the entire village. Sam asked his mom if his family helped Yes, dear, we did. He looked around. The grown-ups were smiling, but he saw tears, two happy tears. His mom whispered. As his dad tucked him in the bed that night, Sam thought about his Christmas list, and that meant, reminded him of another present. Daddy, did you and Mom fill up the sparkle box yet? Sam asked. Well, we added something to it tonight, but it's still not ready to be opened. Sam drifted off to sleep, imagining what could be inside.
few days later, Sam was filled with excitement as he shopped with, it, with his mom. Tomorrow was a school party. There was a Christmas tree there called a mitten tree where the kids could hang mittens, hats, and scarves for people who needed them. Sam picked out the biggest pair of mittens he can find. He also bought a candy bar for himself and his own money. When he turned to leave, Sam heard the tinkling of bells. He looked up and saw a man from the park bench coming in the door. The man seemed tired. Sam looked at the candy bar in his hand and thought about the mittens in his bag. He looked at the man's hands. They looked cold. Sam's heart began to pound. Isn't that nice? I think I know what he's going to do. You girls know what he's going to do? As quick as a wink, Sam slipped the candy bar into the bag with the mittens and presented the bag into the man's hand. Sam ran out the door shouting, Merry Christmas! His mom gave him a hug. I'm proud of you, she whispered. I know that wasn't easy, but you brought a little light into, the, into his world tonight. Sam asked his mom if they could drive by the park. As he watched the flame on the giant candle blink on and off, he thought about how unfair it was that some people didn't have a home to live in or food to eat. Soon it was Christmas Eve, the most special night of the year. Sam and his family gathered at the church for Christmas Eve, Eve service. They sang songs and listened to the story of the first Christmas. Then the darkened sanctuary, a single candle was lit. That candle was used to light the candles and soon Everyone was carefully passing the flames from the person to the next person until the whole room was filled with a magical light. Sam looked around. How lovely, how peaceful they all looked as they shared the light. On Christmas morning, Sam ran downstairs as fast as he could. Under the tree was the train with the shiny red engine, and that was, and what was that? A sparkle box. Sam had could hardly wait to open it. There's the sparkle box. He sat on his mom's lap with his dad's sn snuggled clothes. Sam slowly lifted the lid of the box. Inside there was just a few pieces of paper with words written on them. Puzzled, he looked at the look, took the papers out and began to read the words out loud. Mittens and candy bar given to someone in need. Warm blanket and food for the homeless. A well, a well in Africa that will provide clean drinking water. Sam's mom explained, Sam, the sparkle box is our gift to Jesus on Christmas Day, his birthday. He was confused, but... We didn't give Jesus, but we didn't give Jesus a gift. We gave things to people who needed them. His mom smiled. You're right. And no gift could make Jesus happier. That happier, he taught us what, that whatever we do, 
for people in need we do for him so each year we'll think of something someone special give gifts to, to Jesus to give gifts special gifts to Jesus We'll write down these gifts and put them in the sparkle box. On Christmas morning, we'll open the box and read out loud the gifts we've given in honor of his birthday. Sam thought about the man curled up on the park bench, the mittens and the soft blankets, the well and that would bring clean water to a village in Africa. He looked at his mom and smiled, drew tears of happy tears. Sam whispered, what will you put inside of the sparkle box? Under your Christmas tree, okay, here's a sparkle box. It actually comes with a box here. And that is actually a box I haven't put, I put it together once just to look at it. And it says, what will you put inside? Warm blankets for the homeless? Food for the hungry? Maybe you'll sponsor a children's education or give funds for life-saving medical care. Be creative and think of things that will make Jesus happy. Explain, expand the enclosed box and fold in the flaps, closing both ends to assemble your own sparkle box. Now that's where the sparkle box is. Place the box under the tree and open it on Christmas Day to review what you have done. And this is actually from North Point Community Church in DeWitt, Michigan, this book here. And I think the author of this book is actually from there too. That is the sparkle box. Okay, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Bye-bye.